me when I first played it. Because I pretty much only know the spearhead, spearhead mod. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's very hard. I've only ever played the Russian campaign, and that's it. It's very hard to no, go back no. to vanilla after playing Spearhead. No, not even that. I never, I never played. I played maybe one mission of the bit of. Um... I haven't played Spearhead. I mean, not campaign. I haven't even played campaign. The campaign is very discriminated against Russia, which makes sense. But that's why the Russians really hated it. Yeah, they didn't die a lot. But it's like it really shows the Soviet government as the bad guys, and Russia today really hated that. Because I thought it was demonizing them. Mm. I mean, when you kind of shoot your own civilians for retreating against the Germans... He, he did rescind that pretty quickly, though. I yep. wasn't aware of that. Uh, the, uh, the Order 32 only happened at Stalingrad. Hmm. Like, people think they, the Russians shot their own people all across the war. No, it was only at Stalingrad. Okay, I didn't know that myself. It was only at Stalingrad they did it. I didn't My... either. It's because, thought, it's, it's, gonna... it's because it was a desperate move, measure to keep the pockets in Stalingrad fighting while the army was regrouping behind the Volga. It, it, it was a desperate move. Well, the army was there regrouping by the Volga for the entire conflict. It's just they could only get small amounts of it across the river at the time. No, no, they, what they, they sent they across the Volga was, was literally... The what they the yeah, what they sent across the Volga was literally just diversion. While the army assembled to then encircle Stalingrad. It was literally just diversion. I thought it was specific. I personally thought it was specific to Operation Barbarossa. To the, well, the response. No, no, no. The Russians were just in retreat across most of Barbarossa. It was actually an ordered retreat. Who's doing this? But oh, the, well, no. well, the response to Operation Barbarossa was oh, basically, no, no, no. oh shit, the Germans are invading. I don't believe you, says Stalin. Yeah. They're really invading Stalin. Okay, move the entirety of the industry of Soviet Union to the other side of the Urals now. Yeah. Which was fucking impressive. No, oh, yeah. yeah. I know, right? It's okay, just so you, get, you, you have quick so you have six it. commanders from your HQ to pick from that determines your okay. playstyle. Ooh, Ten bags, two kinds of wire, tank trap, roadblock. Where is that? Ah. Okay, and I am gonna. Uh, I am gonna pick my commander. What's gonna do? Uh, what are the options? Is it to hire the Italians? No. <laughs> no. You might want to put to push the talk or something on so we so they don't hear all the trips you're getting, as they can hear the advisor saying what you are building. You shouldn't have told him. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it's always nice. Yeah, this is a big map, holy shit. <laughs> it really is. Am I it's even actually? Yeah, big. I love it. I'm gonna be... Yeah, I get... I, I've got one suspicion. You see that train track riding down the middle? We're not gonna be seeing that for very long. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, you pick a commander from your HQ, and that that basically changed your whole tech tree and unit tree in this mod. Speech volume. Yeah, that'll do it. Enemy troops! Open fire. Wipe them out. Claim it for the motherland. For the motherland. <laughs> and you can see how fast your troops are dying outside cover. Shit, that was fast. That yeah. was very, very fast. Yeah, it's very realistic. That said, as Soviet, you have a lot more resources and your troops are a lot cheaper, so you can afford losses easier. Can we get across that river just by running? Yes, okay. it's, a, it's a shallow river. Now this, land to the now this land belongs to the Soviet people. Belongs to the Soviet People's Republic. That it would be the Soviet Union, so. The Union of Soviet Republics, I actually think, would be the correct one. Correct wording. Yeah. Because the Soviet Union was a Union of Republics. It will be Soviet territory. Yet. Are you actually using a sound effect?
like a BH18, click on your HQ and you should see a list of commanders. You can pick. I do. Yeah. Let's see. What do you we deliver new territory to the Soviet? Put down. I'll put that down. You basically pick what kind of division you are. The territory is in our hands. The guards here. You need something built? Oh, so that's what the asterisks mean. Right, okay. So the asterisk, the asterisk means the potential upgrades, whereas the ones in brackets are what they start with. Oh, right. okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oops, bloody malware bites ma minimizing my game again. <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's terrible half the time. Oh gosh. Jesus, whose flank is that? Oh, miss this, obviously. Why are they running that way in the... Oh my god, stupid. That is weird, but there we are. I suppose now I know I'm on the flank that's doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, BH18, you can probably see uh, it's a lot more lethal. Yes! <laughs> I think he's getting overwhelmed by the noise of machine gun fire. You can also see cover really does improve survivability. All the Ru all all the du Russian words. Make it quick. On the way. You need something demolished. Time to work, comrades. Yay! The Red Army needs another munition. Can set up a command post. Deploying now, comrade. Mm. Into the building. <laughs> Political officer deploying now, comrade. <laughs> comrade. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, they're going to the other side again. Hate that. Hate it so much. I guess I'm gonna need to relocate some stuff. Men on me. I've not got I've not got the side that uh, gives me the convert the convert Some convert building. Converting civilian structures to field headquarters, Commander. Our soldiers are prepared to hold our ground at any cost. There. The sniper. Mind all set. 
Right, we'll get there. Engineers, put some anti-tank mines. <laughs> Barbed wire? Is that any good? Well, it, it stops it stops infantry from moving. It does, but it's, uh, generally speaking, uh, both... Awful, uh, when we've done games, we've generally put... Um, we've, we've generally done a push with... Uh, not that. Not infantry. Right, a heavy barbed wire slows tanks and destroys the tracks if they drive over them. Oh, okay. Oh, the reinforced one. Yeah, but it takes longer to build. And generally speaking, you want that at the front. Yeah, but it also provides cover, so the enemy can use it as cover, unlike normal barbed wire. Ah, okay. Because there's, it's not only barbed wire, there's also like steel beams along them, so you get the idea. Penal troops are standing by. You must go now. Oh, these guys get BARs! Huh. Then please. I can get some American Shit. equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, lend lease. Shit, we don't want that. <laughs> we are upgrading. You need something demolished? A commissar is prepared to join our forces to help in Why am I shouting this? We need that And remember, you can ura as the Soviets to charge. That's one of your abilities with your infantry, so you can actually do suicidal charges easier. Okay. Um. Ah, shit, look at. There goes that. Yeah, you sure? Oh, wait, wait one sec. If you set mines, can you run over them yourself? Yes, your own troops can run over them without a problem. Oh, okay, good. I won't do it. Yeah, no problem there. That's one of the limitations of the game, but it also makes sense why they wouldn't make them blow up on your own. Be annoying in a game, especially uh, especially a game with a with with a AI, <laughs> because the AI would just drop move over them all the time. Probably. Oh, so that's how you queue constructions. Oh, Hold down shift. Yeah, yeah, I now know that. I'm, I'm, I'm not dumb now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not dumb for doing what, what is like every strategy game. <laughs> oh, that's a cool thing this commander gets. All my weapon teams can be upgraded to have three more men. I can have nine man weapon teams. Make those Nazi bastards bleed! No, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, these 16 army uh, detachment. Yeah, these are pretty good. Oh? Yeah, I'm using 16 guards to push up on your set. Um. They aren't entirely with SVTs instead of most of their guns. I have no idea what that means. But... It means they have, they have semi auto rifles. That sounds good. Yeah, much, it's much better than the uh, bold actions. Oh, Max 
tree. You're not doing too well against VH there. Oh, it's because I sent troops to help him. Uh, I'm gonna be fucked on my side then, aren't I? <laughs> Ah, these guys gonna die. And there goes my god, god troops. That's a neat though with this commander that I can add three more troops to all my support teams. Uh, that's uh, quite a unique thing. So I have like a nine-man machine gun crew. <laughs> that's a lot of replacements. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's some. There's a thing with the Russian conscripts that um, spiffing Brit completely de destroyed the game balance with. Just you know. Which I assume is just keep replenishing troops with them. Um, in a manner of speaking, yes. Oh, it's an shank gun. Okay. Oh, he almost made it! He almost got up Why there. does the AI run towards the enemy to retreat, even though they went, they could have gone a completely shorter direction? No, they go the shortest path back to the base when you retreat. The fuck? Yeah, so they have enough AA, so our aircraft is not, are not going to do anything. Also, I don't think the supply trucks are actually doing anything. They should be giving you a more supplies every 30 seconds. They give like a little bit of a boost. Do they? Yeah, oh, if, if they're set up. Say, actually, doesn't like if it's set up in a, in a territory you own. Then every 30 seconds it'll like fill up. It'll give you some resources, then it'll go empty again. It'll start to fill up again. Hmm. Actually, I should send these guys this way. I want to see these guys in action. You have a use. We've been walking a long time now. You need something built? We will build it. We need what tank is that? Uh, that's uh, SU-76, so it's not a tank, it's an assault gun. Oh, okay. It's an open-top assault gun. Oh, I can see BS, that's being smart with it. He's using attack ground instead of waiting for active sight. Active sight. He's just bombarding blind, weaken the defenses. I can learn. Yeah, you, you tried to destroy the sandbags and stuff behind it before advancing. That's smart. Okay, hold fire, I'll push in first, then you can come up behind me. I'm gonna set in the penals to soak up the German's fire. Okay, so I'm gonna order an Ura, and then I'm gonna charge in with the penals. You can come up behind and take cover.
Troops have been lost. Well, the penals did their suicide job. They managed to go ahead up close and throw the bomb. Nothing like quietly like using criminals as your cannon fodder. That was a Panzer Faust. <laughs> I thought that would be a good idea to do. Command unit is up. We can now establish forward headquarters. I'll prepare the 16 to support on your end again. We need to take that forest. Yes. Okay. What the hell is this weapon? That Maxim took her off. The first ever Soviet light machine gun. Huh. First we'll give that a try to see what that's like. That mortar is annoying. I mean, isn't that kind of the job of the mortar? Yeah, that is kind of true. That's a Stuka. Wow, the, the range on that, the Jesus Christ. Not sure I'm really feeling a difference on it being 64-bit, but I guess it's nice. But I suppose it's just better because it's in 64-bit, but I don't know. I can't really tell by just looking at it. But perhaps it runs better when the map gets more destroyed? this thing through? Yes, I can. Good.
whatever that is, it doesn't sound friendly, the artillery fire or whatever. Uh, I think your side is bombing uh, the front line. Mm. One thing this mod does well is make the battles look good. My flamethrower tank! <laughs> Shit! But you killed my elite squad though. I don't think I was elite, that looks like Volks Grenadiers. They're Panzer Grenadiers. Oh, okay. They lev they leveled up to level 2 just enough to get the Stur uh, Sturmgewehr and then you ki the flames killed them. Uh, but I, that flamethrower tank I think is more costly. Ow! Beetle squad on the fire! Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna be able to breach through that with just infantry. I do hope I'm um, doing well for investing in manpower, like, you know, keeping hold of them. Yeah, investing in manpower is generally a good idea. What did you do? Where are we going? We go to the front line. Run, you fat bastards! Oh, you're also cycling troops. That's actually really, really good, BH. Thank you. Being careful with his man. Yeah, like like he cycles some troops out and he puts another troop up to replace them immediately after on the mm. front line. That's good. Yeah, you need to actually place the MG by holding down the right mouse button and pointing in the direction you want the MG to set up. Nice illumination. Oh, those probably don't need to target vehicles. The enemy has killed another infantry I hope. Oh, damn. I was hoping I could rush it. Yeah, I think those planes only target vehicles. 
Uh, it's probably. Really? Yeah, it might be an anti tank flight. A new half -track has arrived. It probably says in the description. Oh, yeah, so it does. Oh, okay. So it's the other one that targets infantry. Typical. Yeah, so that one you have there is the Panzerknacker, I think. I think that's the word. Panzerknacker. What is the vi the thing that he's using to bomb my bunkers there? Uh, that's the uh, Stuk. That that's the SU-76. He's using he's using it as an artillery piece. As many Soviet uh, guns can also double as an artillery piece. Oh, okay. Like, the, like, example, the Soviet AT gun can serve as an artillery, as a, can serve as artillery piece. That's not just an AT gun. Like, a, like an example, I'll use it on your front line just to show that it does. Like the AT gun, I have my front. I'm now using it as an artillery piece. As an example. Not a very accurate one, but it's trying. <laughs> oh, it actually hit something. Find some other way to get through, though. Engineer standing by. Starting construction. Time to work, comrades. We will have it up. We will build it. Get to work, men. Time to work, comrades. On the move, penal squad. That's an artillery gun. Oh, the pilot got his bombs off. That's good news for you, I suppose. Please don't start a forest fire there. Thank you. <laughs> that would have been, that would have fucked me up a bit. That there was like three units there. <laughs> Oh, that looks like sector artillery. Get out of that sector, BH! Shh! 
shit. And I was sector artillery. Still alive. What is that though you're using in the center there? That's artillery. We are on the way. Like on a, map. a normal artillery piece or is I, it I something have, else? I have two on map on map artillery guns firing at the location. Oh uh, okay. I was wondering what that was. Is that like the howitzer ones? Yeah, that, that's just the howitzers, yeah. Wow, they can shoot very, very far, those guys. Oh, it's probably because they're bold actions. Da, comrade. We are moving. Awaiting command. Squad at the ready. Structure complete. Move out, man. will die even faster. Hmm. Oh, that sounds like rockets. Oh, it's ours. Okay. Yeah, Katishas are pretty scary. And now you better pull that thing back. You don't know want this thing to be close to the front line. Uh, too late. I think a plane got it. I think a plane got sight of it. Oh! Oh! It just touched the shots! <laughs> it hit the tank rather than the Katusha. Oh, that was close! Clutch truck! Oh no, it's still fine! Oh no! No! Oh! Keep moving! Keep moving! Get into base! Get out of there! Oh, clutch save on that Katusha! <laughs> Okay, let's try this tactic. Why are you not fine? Hold you to fire. God damn it, the AT gun is the artillery gun is not firing. Normal shot then. Okay, you want to find a normal shot? Okay.
Medic! Da die Zähze! So many fucking bungus I'm gonna have to work through. Good. What do we get to help us? Oh, they actually took the point. <laughs> and then they died. It's planned. You need something built? Something else to help push with this. Jesus Christ, okay. You've got a fuck ton of anti tank mines. I've literally mined the entire river in the other in middle area. It's a huge ass minefield. Oh, okay, never mind then. Let's play entirely defensive on this side of the map then. <laughs> like, I spent so long mining that centerpiece. Like, I think I planted over uh, at least 50 mines. <laughs> I don't think I've ever laid that many mines in the single area in the game, by the way. Uh. It's because I didn't want to focus my defense in the center, I want to focus it in the city and then support B8, so a minefield is very good for covering a flank. That's kind of what a minefield is designed for, so... Oh, fucking mines again? Oh, not mines, it's bungus. All those fucking bungus. Ow! Good thing I'm heavy. Oh, 
I need some way to get through those fucking fungus. I need my flamethrower tank to get up close, but I can't because of all those fucking infantry. Sorry for having just about everyone with a Panzerfaust. Yeah, I noticed. And some tank hunters. Oh wait, sorry, I'm not pl I'm not playing um, Red Alert. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I need to find some other way to get through. Gosh, the amount of bloody machine guns and stuff you've got up there too. Yeah, I must admit, that machine gun I got, the uh, Maxim Talker, is actually pretty really decent. Apparently it's only good at long range. Oh, it, it, uh, the uh, machine gun I got, apparently it's only good at long range. Ah, it's because it has a, uh, it has a slow rate of fire. So it's more of a precise machine gun type of deal. Long live our great motherland! How do I get through you? I need some way to get through that place. And I'm not entirely sure... Ooh, I think I see something. Now the thing is, I need to set up a position for this thing. How big is this thing? Not big enough. Yeah, probably not big enough. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that song now. Okay, let's set up this gun here. Oh, Soviet Air Force is coming by the looks of it. Ah, the other plane got shut down. Shit. But Soviet Air Force is not me. I think that is. Yeah, that train track is gone. <laughs> yeah, I think you were the Soviet Air Force, not me, because I have no air. I'm air, the Soviet air Force. Yeah, I have no Soviet uh, Air Force supplies or support. I do get a lot of auto support stuff, mostly infantry related and artillery related. Let's see how this fucking thing works. Okay, test. Oh, I need sight. Okay, I got I got a blind fire this weapon. It must be real heavy then. Let's give this a test firing. Fire. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Ouch. And final shot. Undershot a little bit, but that's fine. Wait, wait, you have a force shot? No, oh, no, oh, it was only three shots, okay. It just looked, it just raised the gun as if it was going to fire again, but it didn't.
Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I see what that is. Oh, oh! God fucking damn it. Yes! <sighs> I still have to get through those bungus. Yes, comrade. They're all destroyed apart from maybe one. No, there's two. I see both of them. And they're both covering that, uh, that area I need to approach on. <laughs> Such a shame you landmined the entire map. Yeah, like I had my entire river riverbed there where it's like open behind the train yard. It's just, it's just a big giant minefield. I was like, you know what? I don't want to have my defensive line there. Let's just mine it. Bloody Maginot line. <laughs> <laughs> Gustav line. No, 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 Gustav line. Stalin line. <laughs> Fire! Well, that overshot. This thing is not very accurate. Well, it cleared some trees for me. <laughs> Fire! I said fire. There we go. You almost shot again! God fucking damn it! You killed the gun crew though. Like, I'm, I'm aiming for the fucking bungus. Yeah. Well, I guess we do have a gun this big, accuracy is not really a thing you were good at. Please, please, please. Oh, come on! <sighs> okay. We have to wait for next salvo. I have the men ready. For now, we must continue on. Munitions depot complete, comrade. Really? Try and destroy that bunker with just infantry. Nice! We got it. Okay, we need to find a way to get through that, but at least I'm getting closer to it. Workers of the world unite! I still need to push through there, so... He's uh, still carrying you, CH. Yes, you must go. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Yeah, he's, you can see the point on the on the minimap, he's still carrying. Ah. That is some close range artillery you've got set up, CH. This to work, though. Buy another salvo. Did you overshot again? It's fucking gun. Really? You just killed the pioneer squad I just recruited. 
<laughs> it's not my fault this gun is so accurate it overshots. Oh, that, that, that works. That works. And last shots. Yes! Good. Oh, oh shit, oh shit! I'm so glad that the tank just, uh, tank killers are good. Oh yeah, you just have to use them in ambush positions, really. Moving them out in the open just doesn't work. Which, should I... What the fuck is that? Match me to... Is that a bunch of headsets? That's a lot of headsets.
Watch the passes, Rex. And we lost the KV-2. Uh, Piet, see if you can get some T-34s or some guide. You only have the T-34s as, as Andy. T-34s? Yeah, T-45s if you can. Because I think your commander gets 85s. You have orders? Yeah, commander gets 85s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem is the forest is probably the best for tank warfare. That's because, that's because you mined the only good place. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if this big barrage will allow me to get through. I've saved up resources for this. Second shot. Wait for third and final shot. Okay, now we move. And then Stuka gets it away. Nearly. <laughs> okay. I with this one. Also see if you can get some shock troopers and arm them with PPSHs, because I think that would work well in the forest. Those fucking motor, take those fucking bungers. It's okay. You're making it very hard for infantry to push up because of all those bungers. Good.
There we go, we got it. Get out of there. Okay. Buy some time. So much over that little point of the forest, in all honesty. <laughs> no more bunkers. I am not gonna let you build bunkers in that part of the forest anymore. even get troops up to even be defending there because you're just bombarding it so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm spending a lot of munitions to do that. I'm spending basically all my munitions to ensure you are not taking that point again. I invested so much to get you out of there, I'm not getting you to take that again. And now, we have to use different strategies, because now we've pushed beyond, beyond this point. How many munitions did you use for the um, bombardment? About 400. Because it just seems en seemed endless. Well, I think it's because the houses fire... Each house fires 8 rounds. Mm. And how many did you grab? I have 2 houses. That's a Stuken! Shit! Ouch! Yeah, BH, that, that one heard you. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, you need to watch the map and listen for the Stuka. Because the Stuka is basically a nuke. As I said, get those men back and replenish them, because they deserve to get back in the fight soon. You don't want to risk, and you should never move tanks up without infantry support. Tanks have very low side range. I have the men ready. 
And apparently this commander I have gets nothing. Gets nothing in the final building, so... I'm not gonna get anything heavier than C-34s. Oh shit, that's a Panzer Strike! Can't even get the bunk bunkers built. I got no manpower. I had to scramble to get my manpower back. <laughs> <laughs> and now I can't even push up again because she reads out the fucking sandbags. That's a fucking Stuka. Hold back. I'm actually about to hit popper cap limit, so I can't get any more units. <laughs> actually, I bring him back. Have him come back. There we go. Have work to do. Grenadiers can have a, cu a couple more STGs, so they can have a bit more punching power for at range as well. Oh yeah, the STG is good at all ranges, that's what makes it a great weapon. Problem is it only has 30 rounds, but that's still pretty- actually, that's actually not bad, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> 30 rounds is very good, yeah. for an, an assault rifle, basically. Apparently that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to get rid of you. Try with that instead. That got him. Train, what the hell are you doing with all your manpower? Jesus Christ, those mortars. No, I think that was a Katusha. God damn Stukas. I don't, yes, even, don't, them. I don't even bother going that way, B.A. He's completely fortified that place. Just try to get yeah, up. Yeah, the there. Yeah, just try to uh, fortify the area you've claimed there. That's going to give us a few more resources to work with. Yes. I'm going to work on trying to do something else. because But I'm hitting population caps, so I cannot get any more units. Oh my god, I can give this pan uh, Grenadier squad two Panzer Shreks because I picked one up earlier. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> that's pretty fucking insane. <laughs> 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 
but I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going to grab STGs because they're more useful. They'll probably make them more versatile instead of a dedicated squad because if you give them two Panzer Rex, they are kind of dedicated to anti tank duty. <laughs> because you're denying them two weapons that are good against infantry. As I think the Panzer Rex, they actually refuse to shoot at infantry for obvious reasons. What green, what green smoke mean? I think that just means it's a recon run. Yeah, that's a recon run. And then there's then he goes in the bombing run. Oh, oh. Oh! Nice one. You got a lot. They don't make it easy to push up. Good. Now I was if... panicking because I saw the tanks come up from that side of the map. I was like, oh shit, he didn't mind there. Oh, these things are heavy. Oh, they had to spend so much time turning them. I have the men ready. Yes, comrade. Rain destruction on those Svalaks. Rain destruction on those Svalaks. Shockwave to destroy those buildings? Holy oh, shit! Holy no, I and third shot. There we go, okay, move. the tank? You're joking. You did hit it frontally. And that, yeah, this is it. You know. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, can you get behind that building? Oh! Oh, he's, gonna, he's not gonna make it. I see you're running after him. Run him down! Run the bastard down! Get rid of his veteran units! Ah, yeah! <laughs> and take his gun. <laughs> Steal his gun! And run away. <laughs> I need to push up somehow. <sighs> like, I gave up on the sender there because I needed to do something else because that was just not working. As you can see why, because when he's to push up there. That's yeah, I see that. I didn't see those guys. Yeah, I need to prod on different parts of the front line because attacking the same place is just not gonna work. I now have very little munitions. Because of all that. 
Yes? Strafbad needs orders. What do you need? On the move, Pino Squad. What the fu- <laughs> I can get- I can get a Troxus, this guy, apparently. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> oh, I can actually get trucks that can drive- that can drive AT guns to the front line. Huh, that's neat. I probably picked the wrong kind of commander for this because I picked the Soviet artillery commander and he seems very defensive oriented because I don't get anything heavier than the T-34 push with, which is not really that heavy, you know, honestly. Mm. That said, that, that elite infantry squad is pretty useful, but you can only get two of them at a time. That's not much. Yeah, but they, you did see they are really good when they support the tanks, especially with that MG they have. Still, your SEDs do kill some of them pretty fast. Well, it would have been nice if the game told me that if you changed the thing to uh, anti-air early, um, that it becomes immobile. Oh. It would have been nice if the game actually said that. You have all this. If just had a little bit more population thing, I could call in something else to help, but no. I have to rely on... Oh, I can actually just afford a single thing that makes me a max population cap. <laughs> what are the chances? Meanwhile, I can't afford anything because I have no munitions. So, like real life Germany. <laughs> Come on, Bunga, show yourself. There you are. I see that Panthers, Rick. Yeah, because it's the only thing I can keep that actually stays alive, because you're just bombarding everything. It's like fucking World War One, except we don't have enough ammunition. I'm pretty sure at yeah, some parts in World War One they didn't have enough ammunition either. I've been talking to myself. You've been muted this whole time? Yes! Master, wow, you fuck- I feel like a genius! You yeah, Master, you feel- you are a fucking genius! I feel like a fucking genius. I've been complaining about the Katushas for the past half an hour, I suspect. <laughs> so that's- and, uh, I was wondering why you didn't say anything! <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, I don't know- What the hell was that guy getting killed by? Probably the Katusha. <sighs> uh, yeah, um... My game? Yeah, um, every, t every order takes at least a few minutes to, for the unit to respond. Uh, so you still have that problem. It might just be your computer. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah. It's probably because we're playing on a big map. Uh, it happens on any map, Mrs. That's yeah, it right. happens on every map for me. Yay! Finally! It actually killed the, the fucking enemy has tank! Destroyed one of our vehicles. Jesus Christ. Well, the Panzer's Rig is bigger than the Panzer Faust, but yeah, it's annoying that you have that issue, Matrix. Yep. Oh shit, that's a fucking raket never! Die, you bastard. 
And I lost that too, shit. Yeah, but I lost my best unit in exchange because it was just the huge amount of elite infantry you got with machine guns. What are you using to damage the bunker so It's because much? it's a wooden bunker. Normal infantry weapons can, can damage it. It's not a heavy bunker. If you want to use the heavy bunker, it's the one that like costs. I don't. Uh, uh, there is no heavy bunker. Flugzeugwerk uh, cannon. I think there's a there's a command that gets it. Mechanic SC tactics forward observation bunker. Yeah, that's one of them. But it's a completely different commander. Yep. Let's see if we can finally push through with this thing. <laughs> oh, that, that, was, that, that, that sounded painful. That sounded painful. That sounded really painful. Yeah. Yeah, especially if I just coughed up fucking blood. You did? Uh... Oh. Oh my god. Back in a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna find it. And yeah, Matt, it's annoying you get that bug or whatever. Perhaps you I should. Don't mean, I, I think it's my PC, honestly. Yeah, I've turned yeah. everything down. Pa I, perhaps you, perhaps you should try hosting in the future. Maybe I'll try. I'll give it a try, but. And, uh, I have about four units gathered in uh, in four units gathered in the same position just because the thing refuses to just adjust. Yeah, this commander doesn't get anything from the final tier building, so, uh, that's uh, annoying. But, uh, uh Matt, you what were you complaining about the Katishas about, exactly? Uh, I'd like to hear that argument while we wait. Yeah, it just... I would, I would, uh, basically have my position set up and then a Katusha would come along and destroy it. So, like real life? Yeah. Kind of frustrating. And I, un Kutusha... I unfortunately can't afford fuck all. Anymore. And you're and you're back, which means I can actually advance again. You should probably you should probably get that cuff. You should probably get that cuff checked. Well, yeah, I would love to if I could. If we get fucking flame for tanks, you got. Well, I got because I lost the two T-34s. I could finally get one again. Because it costs a lot of population. Yeah, that, that sounds painful, Elk. Yeah, Elk, uh, we should go. I would go to the doctor if it's painful and you're coughing up blood. It's not open. Not even the emergency line's there. And it's not an emergency for 999, so I'm fine. <coughs> really? But yeah, um, I can't defend anymore. Uh, was that, without the to I can't defend at all. We did, we did have a good long fight in the forest, though, so... Yeah, we did. Early on, the fight was great, but the minute BH got a hold of that... And BH, that, you seem uh, to learn pretty well, and pretty fast. Yeah, you learn pretty well together. Thank you. The only, the only thing I was annoyed with is the, con the constant bombardment of the massive heavy howitzer. Yeah. 